yes. Right. Very good. So now it's recording. And oh, sorry. It's a Adela. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, Ay, espera que por ahí me mandó porque me preguntó si yo tenía tu celu. Espera, porque por ahí me yeah, está. Uh, I'm sorry. Ay, me I puso. She, she, she really cares, so be sí. patient. She really, yeah. she's a really good, she's a caring person, over caring person. <laughs> But that's ahí her está. charm. Ahí te, te... No, porque me pasó tu contacto por las dudas que no, no tenía tu teléfono. Me dice, ¿por tenés el contacto de Tomás? No, le dijo. <ríe> Está bien. Yes, uh, don't worry, I told you. I'm like Sting. I'm, I'm like the singer. I'll be watching you. <ríe> Every breath you take. I love, I love that song. And the singer said that it sounds a little bit creepy because it sí. feels as if you are being observed by someone who is stalking you and yes. still people play it on weddings and no one knows why. Sí. Claro. It's actually creepy, but well, they like it. So let's begin. This is just a, a simple few, some simple questions for you to answer. It's okay if you don't know the answer, don't worry. It's not that you are supposed to read anything before the lesson. So, for example, tell me, do you know what is an injunction? Yes. Uh, are you a lawyer? Yes, I know, but I don't remember. Uh, Take your time. Uh, No, no, I don't, no, I don't remember, no, no, es, eh, espera, porque me suena que algo de, de una medida precautoria, algo de eso. Like a precaution. Okay, pre, sí, precautionary measure, oh, pero sorry, algo así es. Measure. measure, yes. Pero en algo así era, está relacionado con eso, o algo puede ser. Preventing, preventive measure, let's see, can you read? It's a court ordered order that orders the party in breach to stop behaving in a way that breaches the contract. It is usually an order to stop doing something. Yes. So that... you were right. Congratulations. <laughs> It's a measure in order to prevent something. It's an, an order that the court um, orders. <laughs> Sorry. Sí, una, una. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó ahí? <laughs> The court orders that orders. orders. Can... Yes, <laughs> but don't worry. worry. <laughs> this, this isn't my definition. It's a definition taken from a book. So oh. you don't kill the messenger. <laughs> right. Very good. So tell me, what is a specific performance within a contract? So we have uh... a. Yes, the obligation to do something. Well, you mean something that you are you are expected yes. to, uh, yes. the, uh, to do. the manner in which you are expected to behave. Yes. All right. So let's see. Can you read? It is a, a, a order. An order. Or an order. I mean, ah. <laughs> it is an order. An order from the court that oblige the party in breach to do as promised to do under the terms obliges. of the con eh? obliges obliges uh, to do si sí, corregime por favor yo mi pronunciation por ahí I'm so glad that you don't worry it's okay. ah, Adela. <laughs> Adela we were expecting how you how are you I was worried about you <laughs> okay go on please Thomas Right. Uh, I was so, I was reading. Sorry. Okay. Can you go on reading? Yes. It is an order from the court that obliges the party in breach to do as promised to do under the terms of the contract. Very uh, good. So that's that's specific performance. It's so it's an order. Interesting. I didn't I didn't remember that. Cumplimiento en especie sería. 
All right, so, sorry, is there another question? Obligación de hacer sería. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I think so. Ah, sola, well, solamente right no, no es, de, es de dar, entonces, una obligación de dar. Right, no, so we have es. more questions here, which is said specific performance and uh, an injunction. So you tell me, what is contract, uh, contract revision? Can you tell me? Provision. Um, it's a, a specific. I no sé si será no. qué parte será la provision. Si es una parte específica. No, I don't remember that. It's uh, quite transparent. It's just like in Spanish. Pero no sé qué es una. Eh, una disposición en el contrato. Any this article. Provision is disposición. Okay. Yes, some provision, uh, something that is provided. I'm not so case. sure. I've never heard the word disposition, so be no, careful. No, but disposition in the contract. So okay. Yes, okay. but be careful. Don't don't automatically think of yes. it in Spanish. Be really careful. <laughs> Tread lightly. So let's see. What is the contract provision? Can you read, uh, Silvina? Silvina? Yes, it, yes, it is a term contained in the contract. All right, so it's a simple term containing a contract. Yes, yes, okay. Right, okay. contract provision, interesting. <laughs> it was so simple. Yeah, Can you read? Pensé que era la parte específica del contrato. Right. A third party to a contract is uh, what? what is it? Uh, the party that is not a, a stipulated in the contract, for example, stipulated, stipulated that is not in involved. Contract. Yes, that is not contained. That doesn't is not included in on in on yes in right. So it's. A party that is not included within the contract, and so can you read the example? The person, Sorry, can you read? Can you read the definition? A person who has not signed the contract but may be affected by it. Excellent. Right. So it's yeah, a person who hasn't signed the contract. Well. You read very well. I know, but I'm a confundo. No, no, you read very well. I will I will leave you because I just wanted to check whether you were met. <laughs> I was worried. Why? <laughs> okay. No, no, yes, because I, I have to fill in a, a complaint for for some some person. Okay. Well, um, but you can always leave yeah. your camera off and um, just well go on then, with us so then, that uh, I, I feel will, that. Okay, then we will uh, send uh, Silvina. Uh, an exam within the classroom in order to finish this this little course about contract. Okay, when? Uh, then we will tell you. <laughs> ah, okay. But, um, we have to send you some more material to study, and then okay, we will okay. send you. Um, uh, um, it's a multiple choice exam. Yeah, now you have to study. Remember that. Yes, yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> you will not <laughs> skip it. <laughs> okay. Uh, bye bye. Thank you very much. No, bye. thank you. Uh -huh. Then I, I'll I miss go. you. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for telling me that. You're welcome. I'll be watching you. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So we, we just stated what a third party is. Yes. Sorry, it's recording. Yes, it's recording. I I I always say that I always uh, talk to talk, I always talk to myself because um, it has happened to me in the past that I forgot I forget to record, <laughs> and I feel so bad for it. Can you read? Worry. To enforce a term is um, what is it? Uh, yes, um, uh, to es como ejecutar. 
como to execute yes como to execute what? hacerlo ex exigible to well yes term. let's see All right. because uh i know the word for it but i cannot <laughs> yeah yeah let's let's see let's read that definition can you read okay. what happened I see, ahora sí. To make sure the term is obeyed. Claro, por eso. Now you know, it's, well, what you were looking for, the word you were looking for, it's enforceable. Eso. Enforceable, and I forgot, so. Now you know, it's to make sure the term is obeyed, and so it's you obeyed. enforce the term. Which is the expression in Spanish for it? Sí, hacerlo um, exigible, ejecutable, depende como lo que quieras poner, pero que, que, que se pueda cumplir. ¿no yes, okay. uh, I was, uh, I wanted to know whether there is another expression for mandatory or obligatory. Yes, yes. Maybe there is, because I don't know yes. how many synonyms there, there are there in... Spanish legal English. Although, well, let's see. Do we have? Can you read? Yes. To expressly confer a right, a right, a right. Uh, a, right. a right. That's it. Ah, okay. To expressly confer a right or a benefit upon someone is. Uh, what is it? Uh, well, that um, um, you, yes, that uh, you establish in the contract that uh, one, for example, so for example, a donation that uh, you will donate a, a X a quantity of money uh, to one person. Um, and this is the, the benefit. So, Mina, the do you want an advice? Okay. In English, we yeah. don't say a, we say a, a amount. Then you say what you amount. want. Amount, not quantity. Quantity and amount, but it's the same. Pero queda mal, no? Decido, en dinero decimos amount. Amount of money. Yeah, the vale, amount of money is. Exactly, it's the same, the quantity, the, the amounts, both yeah. of them are correct. Both of them are valid. <laughs> uh, no, it's a very, very, very extremely subtle grammatic grammar uh, fact, sí. which is we don't actually realize it because it's practically not important, but if you want to learn, do you want to learn a little bit of English? Of course. When you are thinking and you, you are trying to come up with the answer, instead of just yeah. saying, eh, which is what we say in Spanish, we say, eh, ta, ta, ta. Sí. you say, uh, you have amounts, that's it. Can you do it? You say, for Indeed, example, to expressly, if you say to expressly confer a right or a benefit upon someone is uh, uh, amount. Uh, uh, amount. Don't say a amount. You say <laughs> okay. uh, amount. Okay. <laughs> it's a very, very, very subtle grammar, um, uh, top grammar aspect, which is called the back channel. And it's advanced grammar and no one is going to teach you that because it's almost not important but it shows how well you speak trust me okay so if you want to sound more fluent more natural instead of when you are thinking instead of just saying eh, you say you say uh okay. <laughs> trust me and trust me it really makes a difference okay but but it's because we are Argentine, so we tend to do that. It's our yeah. it's our language. It's okay. Very good. So read the read the definition. To write in a contract that person has that right or benefit. Again, 
Acá it's sería not... that, that a person. No. Uh, again, right this is, control, I told but... you, these are all definitions from a book. And so I also spotted some mistakes, but I think <laughs> the author didn't care. <laughs> No, pero to write in a contract that a person, porque como digo, that person has that right or benefit. Or... No, because you write in a contract, that person has that right or benefit. You write it in a contract, that person has that right or benefit. You need, and the tone of voice needs to change. Not necessarily you need an indefinite article, although you're actually right, an indefinite article is better in that case. But we have some more questions. Can you read? What is the construction of a contract? What is it? Can you, can you tell me? Uh, uh, are you sure? Uh... <laughs> Very good. Now we're talking. <laughs> Agreement, no sé si the, the, the part, agreement, consideration, uh, uh, bank agreement. Uh, uh, it's difficult. Uh, consideration. Uh, <laughs> yes, I don't know. Uh, trust me, it's fun. Do that. But I told you, it takes a while. But at yeah. least now you know. So it's a new fact, and it's something that is extremely subtle, very, very, very teeny tiny. You don't realize, and you will probably never realize it. That's why you need someone like me to tell you. No, it's okay. Agreement and consideration. Agreement and consideration? No. You mean, uh, well, let's see. What is oh, the oh, or I will read, no sé. Can you read? It is the interpretation of the contract. The verb is to construe, meaning to in interpret it. No sé qué quiere decir. Interpret. To construe. No sé Very good. I like it how you read it correctly. Construe. You were right. Construe. Pero, and meaning to I don't interpret. Know. A const the construction of the contract. No sé qué quiere decir eso. En español no sé qué quiere decir eso. Well, you know, well. I've never heard in Spanish of an expression called con construcción de contrato. But well, in this case, it, it says that it's interpretation of the contract. But for example, here it says, whoa, let me just, here it says that it can be interpreted, the interpretation of a contract. So you can also have it either way. Very good. Okay. Uh, tell me, what is an enforceable term or an enforceable contract? I, it's uh, the same uh, as... Are you sure? Enforceable term or an enforceable contract. Uh, that the, uh, uh, are you sure? In case, in case of the enforceable contract is... Uh, uh, are you sure? No, pero no me corrijas eso. <laughs> <laughs> right. You are right. No, but it's because I want, I'd like you to see you use well, it. No, no, pero, eh, right. no, 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 Okay, just leave it like that. Let's go. <laughs> Tell me, what is an enforceable term? Uh, that can be uh, mandatory. Mandatory, and yes. Uh, manda my mandatory. What do you mean by so mandatory? Can you, read, uh, can, you, binding, can you specify? Binding to, uh, to the party or, or both, both parties, I don't know. So you mean it's a term that makes it mandatory? Yes. That makes the contract mandatory. It's a term. Yes. Remember, well, it says right there, impossible term. So let's see, are you correct? Are you right? Read the definition. It is a term or a contract that the court will recognize as valid and will give, therefore, a solution known as remedy to the injured party if the term or contract is breached. So you are right. It's a term. 
that will recognize as valid and will give therefore a remedy to the injured party if the term or contract is breached. Yes. You were right. Very good. Congratulations. So let's see. Mm. Tell so me, what, what does it mean see. to be a member of a class? A member of a class? Just a member mm. of a class. If I say I am a member of a class, uh, what, what am I saying? No, no, I don't, I don't know. I never heard that. Well, I think that, I think the answer is rather very, very simple. Can you read? To be a member of an identifiable group of people. Well, that's to be a member of a class. But, uh, but uh, I don't know, it's, it's related to una eh, acción de clases. A class action suit. Yes. Yes, uh, maybe. I don't let know. Me remind, let me remind you, all of this is from a book. So it's not, I don't, I told you, if it doesn't make any sense, I'm no. sorry, but sí, no tiene. it doesn't make any sense for me either. <laughs> so you and me, we are both, we are both a member of the same class. No, you no, don't... pero es como que no tiene nada que ver con contratos, por eso. Well, but for example, you sometimes in a contract refer to a group of people, and so you refer someone as a member of a class, of a class of something. But in this case, it says member of a class, rather than just saying a class of. That's why it's a little bit uh, misleading. So let's see. What is the remedy for a breach of contract? Um, to um, pay um, to the other party, uh, the, the party that uh, complies with the contract or non-breaching party. Right, so let's see, are you right? Can you read? It is the solution provided to an injured party in cases of breach. It is sometimes called relief. The remedy is usually damages, but there are other solutions or relief available to the discretion of the court. Yes. Very good. So, well, I think this, we have just uh, studied that. What is an injunction? Do you remember what is an injunction? Uh... <laughs> See the precautionary measure. It's a preventive measure. Are you sure? I don't remember. Yeah, you, we just uh, said that we just revised it a couple of minutes ago, but well, short term memory failing. Let's see, it's a court order that orders the party in breach to stop behaving in a way. So it's an order, it's usually an order to stop doing something. But well, you you think you say it could be a preventive me preventive measure. So, and well, uh, you already remember what is a specific performance, don't you? Ay, pero vamos, re vamos a repasar todo. No, Ay, no, no. no. Just, this, just no. this final slide. <laughs> right. So remember. Well, okay. No, just no, work Tomás, with me. Dale. Avancemos, you know. <laughs> right, don't worry, don't you worry. <laughs> yes. My God, but have a little bit of patience. <laughs> don't worry, let's see. And I work with 13 year old students. So I have a lot of experience with people who cannot wait a couple of minutes, so let's work. Oh, sorry. Yes, this is our lesson from, it's a very old lesson. This is the 3rd of November. Mm -hmm. And so, well, as always, it's recording. Yes, it's recording. So uh, as always, let's state the date. Today's the 3rd of November. It's always a good idea for also for you to state the date. It's the 3rd of November, 
And if you want, I can share this with you. Yes, if yes. you want. Um, of course. Of course. Right. In this case, I can write down. So I've just sent the link for you on the chat box. In this case, I can write down the words. So what I just talked about was a back channel. It's called like that, back channel. It's a, an exp it's a, a sound or expression you use to signal to the other person that you are thinking. You're just finding the answer. And so you mean, you want to make it clear to the other person that you want you are you want to go on to keep talking. So, do you see this? Uh, if you can go to frame number two. Eh, no, veo. Me cuesta un poquito, pero veo. Dice reading a statute. Ah, está. Thank you. You are now going to read part of a statute that deals with contract law. The complete statute has 10 sections and six pages long. Wow. And it's six pages long. This is part of section one, which forms the first page of the statute. It deals with the rights of people who are not on one of the parties to a contract but who may have rights under that contract in certain circumstances. Ah, the third party here. The okay. third party. Yes, obviously, I teach you, I taught you all of that for a reason, as always. Uh. <laughs> you may think, you said, why is a member of a class important, uh, necessary or relevant? <laughs> and trust me, it's always relevant. Okay. That's why I... It's nothing personal, but I dislike sometimes when someone tells me that it may not be relevant. Uh, do you see this? If you go to frame number three, you'll find this is the fir first part of a statute. In Spanish, what is a statute? A, a law. A law? No. An act. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. That's why I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. No es estatuto. Es una mal. No es estatuto. No es law. No. A law is an act. This is what is. Sí, la vida. An act. Mira, dice an act to make provisions for the enforcement. Ahí está. Está abajo. That's it. An act. There you have it. An act to make provisions for the enforcement of contractual terms by third parties. Well, this is from 1999. My brother had just been born. <laughs> pero, pero está bien, un estatio es un, una, una, una ley. Well, it may be, I don't know, so let's read. Okay. Can you read? Yes. Do you see that or do you want to make it bigger? Uh, I, I, sí, perfecto. An act to make provision for the enforcement of contractual terms by third parties. Uh, November 11th, 99. Uh, be, it, be it enacted by the Queen's Most Excellent Majesty <laughs> by, by and with the advice and consent of the Lords Spiritual and Temporal and commons in this present parliament assemble, assembled and by assemble. the yes. assembled and by authority of the same as follows. One, subject to the provision of this act, a person who is not a party to a contract, a third party, may in his own right enforce the terms of the contract if right of third party to enforce contractual term is allowed. The contract expressly provides that he may or be subject to subsection to the term purpose, purpose, purpose. To, purpose 
to uh, confer a benefit on him. Uh, two, subsection, I should, I, uh, one B, does not apply if on a proper construction of the contract, it appears that the party did not intend the term to be enforceable by the third party. The third party uh, must be expressly identified in the contract by name as a member of a class, a tal member of a class, or as answering a particular description, but no need, but need to be in existence when the contract is entered into. Need not. But need, need not be in existence when the contract is entered into. Okay. For this section does not confer. Confer or confer? Nunca me acuerdo. Confer. Confer. Uh, there, is, there is no confer. It's confer. confer. Only See? in Argentina we have the confer, but it, it, does, it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> or I, I'm not sure. Is it confer or confer? I think it's uh, an organism that regulates television programs, that isn't, yes. isn't it? El confer, me parece que sí. Yes, the confer. Sí. Entonces, right. está bien para memotecnia. Memotecnia, está bien. Entonces, confer. So, you know, it's, the, it's to confer. It's always to confer. There is no confer. You may confer. only have conference, but that's, uh, that's a noun, okay. conference. But no confer. We have, we'll, you will, now you know, it's always confer, always. So you cannot, you cannot fail. You cannot, uh, there is no error. So you cannot be mistaken. So the section does not confer a rise. Yeah, as you may not have seen, yeah. Confer a right on a third party to enforce a term of a contract otherwise than subject to and in accordance with any other relevant terms of the contract. Whoa. Okay. No, no. The, the thing is that doesn't it make you dizzy? <laughs> so many words. <laughs> sí, 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 sí. Is subject to and in accordance with. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, continue. Shall I continue? Shall I continue? Yes. Yes. Eh, five. For the purpose of exercising his right to enforce a term. Exercising. Exercising his right to enforce a term of the contract. There shall be available to the third party any remedy that would have been available to him and in action for breach of contract. If he had been a party to the contract, and the rules relating to damages, injunctions, specific performance, and other relief that shall be shall apply accordingly. Yes, sorry. In this case, you are all alone. If there were someone else, I would make that person read, but there is no one else. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. So, because you said, I'm running out of air. I'm running out of air. There are so many words. And the thing is that you are the only student. And so there is no one else to read but you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> well, well, because the course, the ESIC course, is a rather private uh, course, and I, I know and you have so your good. own private, private, private course. Tomás, I know you. Sorry, uh, can you? Yes, because I don't. I haven't. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. I know you cannot see it. That's why uh, <laughs> it's not my intention for you to see it right now. I just want to talk. <laughs> so this is uh, this is a very um, this is one of the exercises. We have three more frames, but don't worry. I think there will there will be quick. 
I hope okay. so. Because it's okay. Although you can end, we can end whenever you want it. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, finish and whenever you want it. Right. So, can you read the assignment? Uh, sorry. Yes. yes. Let me just make it like that. Can you read? Yes. Thank you. Uh, match each explanation below with the correct subsection of the statute. The statute has five subsections, which are clearly numbered five, uh, one to five. Uh, yes. Ay, pero no me no recuerdo las subsecciones. Oh, yes. Well, uh, let's read letter. Uh, okay. No, okay. Let's, do, let, let's do the following. Let's take a picture. Uh, of the previous, uh, of the uh, I'm going to make it bigger for you to take a picture, okay. and you take a picture, and then we'll move on, uh, and then you go on telling me the subsections, and I'll be revising that, and you'll be, and I'll be telling you whether it's correct. Uh, do, do you want to make? Do I have to make it bigger? Uh, all right. Pero me quedé, ay, no sé cuál es aquella foto, pero eh, llegué hasta la 3. You have 4 and 5, right there. Ok. Ok. Bueno. I thought you were glasses. Sí, <ríe> los tengo ahí. Are they broken? No, 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 voy a no, no. <ríe> It's not, I mean, it's not a criticism. It's just that I thought I... No, 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 sí, porque me va a costar. No, Leo, yo ahí Leo, pero me cuesta un poquito. Ahí Leo como... Yeah, quieres. well, now you know why I am in love with this application. Now you know. No, no, divina. And uh, yes, marry me. <laughs> <laughs> it has made my life so easy easier okay. trust me because at the beginning of the pandemic i had to make everything from scratch Jumbo. everything big everything big everything small everything linked everything joined i had to design everything and this application makes it so smooth that i i fell in love with it as soon as i it was love at first sight so no está buenísima para dar una, una charla por Zoom, para tenerla en cuenta. Yes, eh, uh, the thing is that it's rather, it's not so easy to use, it's quite complicated, but it's so useful that it's sad. I wish it were simpler, but it's not. Okay, y bueno, I, want, uh, I know it because I once made a, made a little a child cry because he couldn't understand the application mm -hmm. and he left the microphone open so I could hear him and my god I felt so bad oh, I still feel bad I still hear his screams in the night <laughs> oh <laughs> my god yeah. well you know that people I told you people yeah. can get impatient sometimes and it's okay it's not a it's not, there's no problem with that. So, were you able to take a picture? Yeah, pero no sé, bueno, vamos a ver si entiendo las secciones. Bueno, a ver. Eh, sí, 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 saqué algo, algo se lee, sí. I am going to take a picture as well. Ok. Uno, opa. Right, so uh, shall we, shall I go on? Yes, yes. Are you ready? Well, yes. Let's see, I'm going to make it bigger, don't worry. Uh, can yes. you read letter A? Yes. This subsection says subsection. that- Subsection. 
subsection says that the third party may not enforce the right if a correct interpretation of the contract concludes that the parties did not actually intend that the party should be able to enforce that right. This described subsection, but I get up yes. No es la de uno. Okay. Number one, it says Number subject one. to provisions of this act, a person who is not a party to a contract may on his own right enforce a term of the contract if yes, the contract expressly provides that he may or subject to subsection two, the, the term purports to confer a benefit on him. And so it says right here, is that a third party may only enforce a right if a correct interpretation of the contract includes that the parties do not allow, do not actually intend that the part the third party should be able to enforce that right. I think it's correct. Which one? Which subsection did you say? One. Number one. Yes, I think so. Describe section number one. Uh, la two, la viva. This subsection says that the third party who wishes to enforce a right must be clearly named in the contract or be a member of the group of people that is clearly named in the contract. This section also says that the third party does not need to exist at the time to the, uh, the contract is made. This give right, gives rights to third parties such as unborn children, or future husbands or wives of the contracting parties. Esta es, eh, si la ley, espera. Eh, three. Number three, yes. It says the third party must be expressly identified in the contract by name as a member of a class. You see why a member of a class was so important. Member of a class or as answering a particular description but need not be in existence with the contract is entered into. Have you ever had to deal with someone who has entered in a contract before, um, before existing? No. Me neither. <laughs> right. So you say number three. Yes. Uh, can you can you read letter C? Yes. This subsection says that the third party can enforce a right if the contract clearly states that he or she may do so. This section also says that if a contract term clearly gives a benefit to a third party, then he or she can enforce that term. Me parece que era el chu, pero déjame que lo. Con el proper construction. No, la, la chu no es. Eh, this section. I no sé. So third party can enforce a right if the contract clearly states that he or she may do so. But this is a right that he or she may do so. Part of them here should come from that. I think it's difficult to. I'm not sure. Do you think it's number five? A ver. Porque esa no las leí, por eso. Entonces me cuesta más. Las tres primeras las leí, me, me las 
for the purpose of his right to enforce a term of the contract, there shall be available to the third party in a remedy that good have been available to him in any action for breach of contract if he had been a party to the contract and the rules relating to damages injunctions, a specific performance, another relief shall apply accordingly. Eh, sí, la cinco, porque habla de remedies. Remedies, yes. Very good, so it's number five. Can you read letter D, maybe? Yes, this subsection says that if a term is enforced, the court can give the third party any of the usual remedies available to a person who brings a claim for breach of contract. This section also says that the normal rule of law that apply to remedies will apply in the normal way to third party claims. Is that two or la force or la four? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does not apply in a proper construction of the contract. It appears that practice to be intended to be for that. No. Esa es la four. And the last one is that too. That's, a, that's an interesting way of answering. Right. So you say that letter D is number four, and number four it says, this section does not confer a right on a third party to enforce a term of a contract otherwise than subject to an end and in accordance with any other relevant terms of the contract. And so it says that the D, this subsection says that if a term is enforced, the court can give the third party any of the usual remedies available to any person who brings a claim for breach of contract. Whoa. This section also says that the normal rules of law that apply to remedies will apply in the normal way to third party claims. So I think you're right. It's subsection number four. And you said, which is the final subsection? Two. Can you read? This subsection says that if a third party wishes to enforce a contract term, he or she can only to do so subject by, can only do so subject to any other term in the contract that is relevant. This means that the parties to the contract can limit or place conditions on the third party's right. There may be another term, for example, that says that the, any dispute uh, must be resolved by mediation. The third party will have to comply with this term when enforcing his or her right. This is quite- so Section two, what does it say? Uh, yes, subsection two uh, does not apply if on a proper construction of the contract, it appears that the parties did not intend the term to be enforceable by the third party. Right, so you were right, subsection two, perfect. Me costó la tres. La, la yeah, well. <laughs> Did, yeah, maybe, well, now, now I get why people say that sometimes contracts are tricky, are so tricky, yeah. and maybe that's why they hate lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you don't, you never had to deal with that, but people, most of the time, in movies and on the TV, you always have the idea of the lawyer who is trying to trick you with so many words. And well, now you can see why. <laughs> <laughs> my god yes not even in a book made for teaching is it's easy <laughs> right so uh let's do this activity uh these are i think these are much simpler so don't worry okay. can you read okay or you can or we can you can just go if you want no 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 we finish uh, here is a summary of a short extract from UCTA followed by the extract itself. 
The summary says the same thing as the statute, but it uses less complicated language. Read That's the summary. So. <laughs> yes, read the summary to help you understand the meaning of the extract from the statute and then complete the extract by choosing a phrase from the blue uh, box below. Yes, that's the blue box right there. Ah, okay. Do you see it? Yes, yes, but no veo blue. Well, come on, it's a, it's a, blue. it's a copy. Obviously there is no ah. blue box and actually, <laughs> and actually the book on PDF form doesn't have a blue ah, okay, form, okay. so I don't know why. <laughs> right, so can you read the summary? Yes. Summary paragraph 16, subsection 1 of UCTA. This subsection says that if in a contract one of the parties attempts to prevent or limit his or her liability for breach of duty of care in situations connected with doing business or using a building for business purposes, then the term will always be void if one of the parties tries to prevent or limit, limit his or her liability for death or in injury of the other party. And in any situation except that death of or injury, the terms will be boy if uh, it was unfair or unreasonable to allow it to allow it in the contract. Uh, right. So thing. in this case, we are supposed to uh, complete the extract with using these expressions. So this should be quicker, and you don't actually need to think much about it. Yeah. So, for example. Let's read all the phrases. Can you read them? Okay. It's, do you see it co correctly, properly? Yes, yes, thank you. Void in any case have yes. no effect. Yes. Uh, purports, queda purports? Purports. Purports, queda? Por propósitos. Yeah, let's see. What was it, purports? Uh, yeah, the thing is that uh, in this case, this is, was a... I think uh, purport was a thing that I taught in another lesson. And so uh, this is more of a quick uh, course for you. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't teach you purport. <laughs> what is purport? Uh, let's see, what is purport? Mm -hmm. uh, let me just see if I can share this with you uh, do you see this yes i love this dictionary use it always forever i love it i'm in see. love with it see, if i ever got I wish I, I could meet. I wish I could marry a girl called Macmillan. <laughs> I, I've never met a girl called Macmillan. Yeah. Right, so it's purport. Tell me where you can listen to it. Sí, más o menos. Yeah. Pero... Okay. Entonces es to claim or seem to be something or to do something, especially when this is not possible or true. Purport to do something, this book purports to contain all the information you require. Be purported to do something. Some food supplements are purported to enhance memory. So now you know, it's the idea that you, uh, you establish that you may have the ability to do something, although it doesn't seem so likely. That's what, that's what it means to purport. But it's a very extremely formal expression that no one uses. So, but, uh, in got... Spanish, in Spanish, what what does it mean? Uh, in Spanish, I'm not so sure if we would be so. Wow. This is a prefer. I prefer word reference. <laughs> no, no, I prefer Macmillan. Sorry. Uh, yes. 
I am team hashtag oh. team Macmillan and hashtag team word reference and word reference is my word reference would be a girlfriend aside from Macmillan. <laughs> <laughs> my God, you're such a cheater. <laughs> don't, please don't. You're gonna. You can always file for divorce with me, so don't worry. I don't care. So let's see. Can you see it? Yes. Right. Sí, igual no entendí el significado, pero no no sé no sé qué significa. Don't worry. Don't worry because it's not necessary. Okay. You can always uh, infer it from the context. Okay. Uh, arising in the course of occupation of any premises, incorporate the term. Okay. Right. Entonces, eh, comienzo y voy completando. Start reading. Okay. Start reading and then we, we may be uh, eliminating the, the, the options one at okay. a time. Okay. Until we find the correct one. Eh, eh, me me bajas por fin, pasivo las respuestas. Sorry, yes. Uh, where a term of a contract cha, 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 or restrict liability for breach of duty. Uh, where a term of a contract or restrict liability for breach of duty, any business or from the ta, 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 use for business purposes of the occupier, that term. I occupier. No. Occupier. No, pues, menos, no entiendo nada. <laughs> es un chino esto. Where a term of a contract... But you're a lawyer. You're yes. supposed to know... No, to no. And you, you're a teacher, you have... Uh, you're supposed this. to know this. No, 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 Mambo no. jumbo. <laughs> have you ever heard that expression, mambo jumbo? Uh, All of this. All of this is a mambo jumbo. Yes. Uh, no, sí, es un chino. Mambo jumbo. Uh, mambo are, jumbo. Uh, uh, that is a plain English is the opposite of this. Uh, where a term of a contract. Uh, Es, eh, purports, purports to exclude or, to exclude, yes. Eh, or restrict liability for a breach of duty. And duty. Eh, and duty. Eh, Arising in the course of any business or from the uh, uh, occupation of any premises, was that used no, or any any business or from the occupation uh, of any premises. Yes, it's correct. Oh, okay, okay. Use... Sorry, it's not that. Yes, it's wrong. It's it's uh, no, it's not. It's correct. You see, oh, very okay. good. Use for business purposes of the occupier that term should be uh, where such exclusion or restriction is in respect of that or uh, and also it. Uh, should be a void in any case. Y después dice shall in, a, in, a, in any other case uh, in, incorporate the term if it was not fair and reasonable. I am. To... Yeah, let me give me time to write ah, down no, the no. answer. 
Uh, so what in any case where such exclusion or restriction is in respect of death yeah, or in personal case. injury, yes. Yeah, in other case, Correct. incorporate the term if it was not fair and reasonable to uh, have to have not no effect in the contract. Okay. Bueno, si lo dice más fácil al, <laughs> al principio, mambo jambo. <laughs> Over at the term. And uh, which was the final one? Uh, have no effect. Having no effect in the contract, yes. Effect. Effect. Not, it's not an effect, it's effect. It's our A. Effect. Effect. As effect. It, you're pronouncing it as, as if it was effect and it's not. It's effect. No, effect. Effect, yes. Okay. Like that. Well, yes, effect. Having, it's effect. Okay. Uh, having no effect. Okay. Well, uh, we can do the next one if you want, only if you want. ¿Y terminamos? No, we have another one. <laughs> no, it, well, it says right here, seven share, seven frames. And we have the sixth one right here. Uh, well, now it's actually the text in number six and then the activity in number seven. And in number seven, it's a little bit quicker because it's ah, prepositions. Bueno, lo hacemos rápido, dale. Right. Can you read? I'm not, I'm not so sure if you can write right there. Perfect. Exercise uh, three. In, on the next page is another extract uh, from the same statute, the Unfair Contract Terms Act. Below, you can see a summary of this extract. Choose a preposition from the blue box and put it in the correct gap in the extract. The next one in the next frame. Okay. Summary of paragraph 16, subsection uh, 3 of uh, UCTA. If according to subsection 1, the part of this statute then uh, that you have already read, a term of a contract is void, then it is not important whether the person who signed the contract knew about that term. Knowing about a term or even agreeing to that term does not necessarily mean that the person who signed the contract agreed, agreed to take any risk. Uh, wow. and, and My God, it's so, so awful. A ver, right, let's then, see. Where? Where? Uh, yeah. We are under section one. Uh, sub, sub, subsection one. Uh, to, uh, under subsection one. Above. A and term. Above. Above the term of a contract is void and has not effect the fact that a person agreed to or was aware of the term shall not be uh, shall, shall not uh, shall not uh, uh, porque me queda espera, uh, son justo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, of, 2, above, under, of 2 ofs me queda, I shall not of me queda Although I I think uh, I think uh, uh, this this goes I right is, here. Uh, shall not under this, this of. goes off right there. Where of subsection clarity. one. Say. Now read read whole all of it. Yes. Read all yes. of it. Where of subsection, subsection one above a term of a contract is void and has not effect, the fact that the person agreed to or was aware of the term shall not under itself be sufficient evidence that uh, he knowingly and voluntarily 
as you voluntarily. Can you pronounce volunt it voluntarily? Voluntarily assume any risk. Wow. <laughs> My God, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of. Also, another expression, jibber jabber. Okay. Have you ever heard it? Jibber jabber? No. Well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> so let uh so will you be will will you come to to class next tomorrow? We are no, the lesson I, is all, already I prepared. Have enough, I have a Zoom at a, a well come on. We I just have bled and sweat for a whole hour and you just <laughs> tell me you're gonna tell me you won't be able to come tomorrow. <laughs> it, would you I, um, is, uh, attend my my meeting uh, by Zoom? We exchange. No, because I have to deliver a lesson. <laughs> I don't know how to attend the, the meeting. Right. Okay. So, well, you tell us when you want to attend the course. We are still here. We're nearly finishing. That's why we wanted, we would love for you to join us. And uh, well, let's stop the recording now. Okay.